Today we're going to talk about how pornography affects your brain. Now, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever wondered if your porn addiction has affected uh, your focus, your memory, or your ability to prioritize? And I'm particularly referring to short-term memory and your cognition. See, if you're a person who understands complex topics and concepts, you might maybe suddenly find that you're, to put it simply, just feeling stupid. Flash. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Up until the age of 25, I was pretty stupid. And there is no better way to say it. That was the truth. I made, made up a lot of bad decisions and I thought it was because of some issue or the other, some of something else. The truth is that I was playing a role, right? However, playing a role doesn't really explain the extraordinarily stupid decisions that I was making back then, you know? Some of those life decisions are actually still affecting me today, so many years later. In fact, I didn't become articulate until I was about 31 years old. And even today, I can mess up when trying to put my thoughts and my ideas together. I am the definition of a true late bloomer. I discovered why that happened and how it actually connects to pornography. And if you're feeling the same way I did, then you're going to find this video very helpful. So. Um, from the age of 18 to about 25 years of age as men, our brain hasn't fully developed. We're, we're missing plenty of the cognitive processes and we can't make mature decisions or prioritize things properly. This is normal and biological. This is something that we've actually noticed in one of our programs, the intensive program, which is our highest level of coaching. And in particular, men under 25 just could not keep up with anybody who was in their 30s. And this baffled me at first until I realized that the younger guys simply hadn't developed everything that they needed to focus on certain modules we had, certain coaching concepts and certain processes. Now, when you struggle with pornography addiction, you don't develop enough neural connections in your brain, right? And let's say your addiction began, let's say your late teens, pornography is actually going to slow down the development of your brain as a man right? Now, the good part is when you stop watching pornography and you engage with a very strong uh, system, those functions begin to come back. So if you're worried about uh, what your porn addiction has done to your brain, the only way to improve your function is through rebooting, right? It is through the process of using a system that teaches you in a systematic way how to manage your emotions, how to be rational, how to be stoic, how to prioritize. Because there are some of you who are in your 30s who are still behaving as if you're in your 20s. And think about it. Look at your life. Look at your bank balance. Just look at, look at your life and ask yourself, oh, is this, uh, why am I here? Why am I here? I should be further along. I know there are many circumstances that led to this, many of which were out of your control. But what of that one behavior that is in control, but, or rather it's supposed to be in your control, your sexual behavior, that you have allowed to just fester and grow weeds inside your life and your lifestyle? I promise you, once you can start controlling that behavior and learning to think, about how to control your mind, how to control your sexual urges, understanding your biochemistry, it is going to begin to reflect in your life. That's what I did. Now, the path to accomplishing certain things in life or just getting out of be being mediocre may not be through ending your behavior with pornography. So the message I'm sharing is for those of you who have tried for many years to control this behavior and who haven't been able to, it is very possible that it is the cornerstone. It is the one thing that you need to change and focus on and it impacts the rest of your life. It has brought me incredible freedom and thousands of my clients who showed up. This is our issue. Other people will hear this and go like, oh, 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 porn's not a problem. You're making a big deal. It's a scam. It's just not bad. These are people who have some religious background. They have this, it doesn't matter. If you are struggling with it and it is an out of control behavior for you and you've tried to stop and you can't despite the negative impact that is evident in your life, 
That is the definition of compulsive. You need help to end that behavior. Don't be afraid to reach out. There is no shame. We are compassionate. I don't care how fucked up the pornography you're watching is. I don't care how much you're acting out. I really don't care. I care about you rebooting and you ending this behavior. And I'm passionate about it because I know how difficult it is for a man to watch a video like this and say, okay, I'm going to put my ego aside. I'm going to reach out and ask for help. Especially when you haven't hit rock bottom. Don't wait because rock bottom for a sexually compulsive behavior is a shit place psychologically compared to any other thing you could be addicted to. Okay, that's my message for you. I'm JK, your brother in the struggle.